All right. So here we go. I'm going to try and successfully do this stupid game without using any of the checkpoints. I'm going to kill every checkpoint. I am going to maximize my money. I'm also going to maximize my deaths. So here we go. I'm going to try Jeff with 1F. We don't need any more than that. Oh, okay. Maybe we, maybe we do need more than that. Oh no. All right. All right. Maximum. Here goes some failures. Turn my volume a little bit. Okay. I don't want it to feed into the mic too much. But I also want to hear the game. All right, I'm skipping this. Shoveling time. All right. So I've actually played through most of the game, but I haven't beaten it. I've uh, been playing it, this is stupid, but I double dipped on this game. I uh, got it on Wii U first, realized I wasn't going to have a ton of time in front of the TV for the next couple weeks, so I bought it on the 3DS as well, and I've played through almost all of it on there. Um, but I'm at a point where I want to die a lot. I want to die. Not in, real, not in real life, but in Shovel Knight. And the best way to do that is to kill all those checkpoints so that... I'm gonna lose all my progress and just, 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 it's gonna be very painful. So if you don't know Shovel Knight, you probably do. It is a Wii U PC 3DS game that is basically just trying to recreate all the feelings of those uh, old NES games, uh, Mega Man, uh, the you know Ducktales or whatever. Um, oh, here it is, our first. But we, I don't think we can, we can't kill this one yet. So I lied. I'm already lying to you. We cannot kill all of the checkpoints. We're just gonna kill most. I, I think it's because it's got those uh, magic wings thing around it. Oh man, I need to turn off this video. It's, I, have my, um, I have the video on Twitch on in the background, and it's freaking me out when I can see my like 20 second delay happening right up there, just beyond this uh, this screen. And if you can tell, I'm looking at the Wii U gamepad controller instead of the uh, TV. I, I don't know why. I like this better. Oh, that's not going to work. Spikes are my mortal enemy. It's uh, They've killed me more times than I can count. I can count very high. I like this boss because he's easy. A uh, mini boss. satisfying. You just lay the shovel down on his head a couple times and you're going to win that that battle every time. And then he lays down a ton of gold, so it's fun. First time, I got hung up knocking these skulls around a bunch, thinking I was supposed to do something with them. Obviously you're not. They're just, you can use them as weapons. I love this kind of game design because it just it teaches you right here. Like it's showing you, hey, if you see this kind of wall, you can break through it. So now you know it for the rest of the game. If you see that kind of wall, break through it. You're you're learning now, you're gonna use this in the future. It's it's why I like these old games better than a lot of new games, because in a new game you get a you'd have to stop playing, get the thirty second, you know, scrolling tutorial message about how to break through like certain walls and it would just it's the worst. But no, it's just, it's giving you, like, here, it's, it's the third time, so, and it's not like, now it's showing you, like, okay, sometimes it's going to be hidden off to the side, or, you know, off to the side a little bit, and you can get spoils if you do it right. It's just smart. This part... This, um, the waterfalls in the background reminds me a lot of Contra. Ah, hell. There we go. Yeah, and this, uh, Shovel Knight really gets me in my have to collect everything, too. I, um, when I play, like, Super Mario Brothers, I can't just go through the level. I have to get every coin 
even though like you only get one ups for getting like a hundred coins, it's the only thing it really does. But still, I can't I can't help myself. And the same thing's true in this game. I, it's not really... I don't really have OCD, but... I don't not have it, too. Ah, uh, satisfying. It's like... That rolling paper, that, um... That bubble wrap. That's what this is like. Boom. 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 There's another hidden wall. Again, it's, I mean, it's not really hidden, but... You know, you've been rewarded for going after these walls so far. It's like, just keep doing it. And the risk of Shovel Knight really comes into play here. Uh, because... You know, these, this is just... Uh, you don't have to do this. This is optional. But if you do it, you can get more gold. But if you do it, there's a, you know, a pretty good chance you might die and then have to try to come back and collect your gold uh, so that you don't lose everything. It's, I don't know, it keeps, it keeps you uh, on your toes, it keeps you in a situation where you might have to come back. Dino DNA! Oh! Ah, he's no problem. I love that. So now, now we're at a point where other walls that aren't like clearly marked can also be destroyed. So if, if you kind of get in the habit of you know destroying those certain walls, you might start trying to blow up other walls. And it, it, it's all—it also teaches you here again because if you don't hit that wall, you'll come up to this part of the level and you'll see that there's something there and you won't figure out how to get there. So you'll go back down and learn that you can also blow up blood walls that aren't clearly marked. It's... God, I just love this game design. Dino DNA. Sorry, every time I see these guys, it's what I think of. Because they look like dinosaurs. Alright, this one, I think this is the first place I died the first time I played the game. Is I killed him, and I went right through the, uh, the pit. Right there. So I've learned my lesson. Don't you dare. Oof. Collecting every bit. Oh, that was poor, poorly timed. Uh, this game's good about rewarding you for, for trying to get to places. If you see a ledge, if you try to get there, it's not usually in vain. You're almost always going to get some gold at the end of the tunnel. And again, there's just that, all those risks, all these tough jumps and long jumps and shovel jumps. You know, if you don't, if you miss one thing, I mean, yeah, if you, if you get it all, you'll, you'll get plenty of money. But if you miss one thing, I mean, there it is, you're dead. Oh, you asshole. Just 
two more hits, I think. There we go. Oh, I love that kill screen. I love what happens when you kill uh, one of the big bosses and the screen just does that 8-bit flash. It's wonderful. Well, that's the first level. And I think what I'm going to do is is I'm going to uh, put this up on my YouTube page. So if you're watching this on YouTube, obviously, you realize that. So I'm going to break these up by level. So uh, that was the first level. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here, but I'm gonna continue playing on the Twitch stream. Oh, don't want to miss this. Gotta time it just right. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, just so many great touches. Uh, it's one of my favorites of the year so far. Put out the fire. Get my gold. Okay, yeah, alright, that's it. I'm going to cut the video right there. We're going to come back, we'll hit the next level, and uh, thanks for watching.